uh, Fall Out Boy concert. I don't, I can't think of the word. I guess etiquette? I, not etiquette. I don't know what I'm saying. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, I've been noticing, like, a lot of people that I'm subscribed to have started making videos like this, and I was like, hey, this looks like a cool video to make, and I've never done anything like this before. So, for today's video, I'm going to give you guys my top four favorite concert moments. Alright, so this isn't my favorite concert, it's just, like, different things that happen during the concert that I will probably always remember for the rest of my life. It's like, you know, it's like these moments that you just live for, you know, when you're going to concerts, and... You just always have them ingrained in your memory like years later. So let's get to moment number four. Okay, so back in 2007, I went to the Young Wild Things tour in Rochester, New York. This was the second time I ever saw Fall Out Boy live. The first time I wasn't like, I was like into them, but I only knew like their singles and was just kind of getting into their disc discography a little bit. So I didn't know every single song or anything like that, but it, it was still a great concert. And the first concert, I should probably, should probably go back, first time I ever saw them was in the Honda Civic Tour, and that was like, I don't know, six or seven months earlier. So this time, I'm into Fall Out Boy 100%, like I had like Fall Out Boy shirt on, I was excited. Um, we were actually, because I went with my sister, my mom, and a couple of our friends from school who were also into Fall Out Boy. I was part of the Overcast Kids fan club. So we ended up with getting early entry for the show, which was really great because this venue was a completely, even the seats and everything was general admission, like there wasn't any assigned seats or anything like that. And for this concert, um, I was 12, I think, and my sister was like 11, our friends were around 12, like we were, I was in like eight, seventh grade, I think. So we were like super, super young and my mom was like, yeah, I'm not going to let you guys go in the pit because, you know, this was back in the day when Fall Out Boy had like a rowdier um, audience. It was more college age like older high school age kids that would go into the pit and mosh and stuff so my mom was not gonna she wasn't gonna allow that so we I remember we were um in line we get into our seats we're in the front row like because this um venue had like a pit like in the middle and then like seats on the side so we were in like the first like few seats right on the side like on the left side of the stage um where Pete is and you know we were really excited we were super super close and like, I know I'm kind of giving you an overview of the concert, and this isn't like my favorite concert by any means, but the reason that this concert as a whole is actually one of my favorite um, concert moments was because this was the first concert I've ever been to where I knew every single song. Like, I mean, if, if Fall Out Boy were to do a concert with this set list, I think everybody would just lose their shit. Like, I, I actually looked up the set list because I didn't remember exactly what songs were on it, but I'm just gonna give you a few where you're just gonna be like, what? Like all of those songs in one set list, like, oh my god, okay. So, our lawyer made us change the names of the songs so we wouldn't get sued. Grand Theft Autumn, Of All the Gin Joints, Hum Hallelujah, I Slept With Someone in Fall Out Boy, Carpal Tunnel of Love, Don't You Know Who I Think I Am, I'm Like Lawyer, After Life of the Party, Golden, Nobody Puts Baby in a Corner, Take Over the Breaks Over, EXO, and Chicago was so two years ago. And that wasn't even the whole set list. But just to have every single one of those songs on a set list, for a concert was absolutely insane and I remember screaming the words singing the words with all my friends and we were just we had a blast it was such an amazing time and we were super close to the guys and just like pre hiatus concerts were just super crazy and rowdy and just fun and I mean it's more I guess this is more of a concert overview than a moment but still it's just like it has to make this list because of that set list and it's always going to be ingrained in my memory like almost perfectly because of what an amazing time I had at that show. Number three, when I saw Paris back in May in San Antonio, there was the last song of the set was My House and oh my god like that song was just so amazing because that I mean if you guys aren't fans of Paris or you are like you probably know that um, My House is probably Paris's biggest song right now, the most their most well-known song and everyone just went absolutely crazy. So basically like, like during the bridge of the song, Lynn came into the audience and was like, you know, touching people's hands and stuff and singing to them and everyone was screaming back to her. It was amazing. And then, cause they were, she was kind of over on the side a little bit, like into the crowd, cause I was front row. And then she comes back and like kind of walks towards where uh, me and my friend Max were. And she, cause I've actually met her beforehand and she recognized me you know, as the crowd was singing to the song, she wasn't singing, she was just letting the crowd kind of sing the parts, and she looked at me, and she's like, mouthed the words, like, hey, 
and smiled at me and like touched my hand like this. And I'm just like, she remembered me from the meet and greet. And it just, it just completely made my night. And I actually, I was filming, but you can't see her because it's really dark. And you know, obviously I didn't want to have my flash on to like blind anybody, but like, you can see in this video as she when she comes down from the thing and walks past and like she like holds she's like as she's holding my hand i go like woo <laughs> and then you hear you hear my friend max like who's next to me and he goes like yeah like because she recognized both of us and i love how i have that on film like because it just it kind of proves to me in my mind that that actually happened i'll show you guys that clip right now <laughs> favorite concert moment has to be when I saw Fall Out Boy at the um, ATC block party in Houston. Now, during Dance Dance, like, I'm, if you go to a lot of Fall Out Boy concerts, you kind of, like, get the, like, the, um, you kind of know what the guys are going to be doing, like, during certain parts of the song, like, they have, like, their little, like, hand gestures, like, you know, for example, like, in Saturday, where they go, like, two more weeks and everyone puts up their, you know, two fingers or whatever, like, it's just kind of like that, but... You know, just like the little hand gestures that people do in the concerts. So, you know, they kind of feed off of us and we kind of feed off of them like that. I mean, it's just kind of, if you've been to a follow-up concert, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, during Dance Dance, when Patrick's like, you know, during the bridge part where he kind of like re goes back into the lyrics and he goes like, why don't you show me a little bit? And he does this. So when he was doing this, I was like, I was freaking out because Dance Dance is one of my favorite songs. If you guys watch my top 10 Fall Out Boy song videos, you'll know that. So I was freaking out. I, I always love hearing Dance Dance, even though a lot of people are getting sick of it, but I absolutely love it. So I was like freaking out. And then as, right, right before Patrick was doing this, I was like, had both of my hands up like this, like doing this. And I was like, like that, like probably making a really stupid face. And I, like, right when I was doing that, and I was like waving my hands around, just acting like an idiot, because that's just what I do at concerts. And Patrick like, he was like looking at me when this happened and like <sighs> we made eye contact and like I was like oh my god like I don't know if he's looking at me so like he looked at me and I like blew him a kiss I was like like that <laughs> like really stupid and then he like kind of giggled and I was just like yeah he was totally looking at me and I was like you know kind of like all oh, excited you know whatever and so after that show when I was on YouTube and so you know someone like uploaded the entire concert because you know it was on um, the live stream or whatever and someone uploaded it on YouTube and I looked at the dance dance video and of course you can see Patrick giggling at me and it's on there and it makes me so happy that you can see it so I will share that clip with you guys right now and obviously it's this is one of my absolute favorite moments because I just like die every time I think about it so here's that clip for you All right, now on to my favorite concert moment of all time has to be last summer when I saw Fall Out Boy at Boys of Summer Tour. Me and my sister, we were second row. That was the closest we'd ever been to Fall Out Boy in our lives. And that was, this was probably like the seventh time I've seen them live at this point. And we were never that close ever. We've never been that close. So as soon like as you guys went to Boys of Summer, you guys know that they opened with Sugar We're Going Down. And we were literally like we weren't in the middle, but we were like on the left side, like right in front of the little step that they have. So it was like right in front of Joe, but we were like literally like the step was like right here, like right in front of us, that step that they like to go on during shows. So we were like right there. Like you basically you could look up and they're like right in front of us. So as soon as you know, the little um the little screen it came up and the guys came out from underneath it playing Sugar We're Going Down. I was like, like, it just kind of hit me, and I'm like, oh my god, they are so freaking close to me. Like, it was like surreal, kind of. Like, I was in shock. I wasn't like singing or anything or, or like cheering. I was just like, oh my god, like, the, like, I just, my heart just like dropped into my stomach. So, I, I've never been that close to them before. And then, this is the part where that almost killed me. So, Patrick, you know, during like the little instrumental part at the beginning of Sugar We're Going Down, comes up on the step, and he is right in front of us and i'm just like looking at him like oh my god and he's like looking down at the crowd like smiling like doing his little his guitar stuff and i'm just like oh my god like i swear he was looking right at me and like unfortunately i cannot find a video from that date of him close enough to like be looking down at the crowd but i'll, I'll put a clip of um, that part of the song you know from that tour so you know exactly what i'm talking about when he goes up on the step and you'll you'll know what i'm talking about and we were like right underneath them so i'll show you guys that clip right now yeah 
yeah, when the, like, seeing him up that close, smiling, like, at all of us that were, like, right in front of him just completely melted my heart, and I, I don't think I could, I don't think I was able to move for about two minutes, like, I know that sounds silly, but I was completely in shock, I, I was, it was so surreal, and that was, that was such an amazing concert experience, but, um, I will never forget it, that's for sure. Hey guys, well that's going to be it for this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, also make sure to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, or um, my Follow Boy Fan Info Facebook page. I like to keep everyone up to date on what is going on with the guys at all times. Um, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And if you are not new and you've been watching me for a while, it's nice to see you back. Alright you guys, well I hope you all have an amazing week and an amazing day and an amazing time in this life and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.